YouTube, my name is Redstone Charger, and this is a tutorial on how to make villagers talk. If I can find the villager I set over here, I can show you an example. Villager, where did you go? Looks like you disappeared. Might as well get another one. Here we go. Place this guy down. As you can see, I placed him down. There is nothing else around him. And he starts talking. Yes, you do have a big nose. Anything else? No. Hello. Next, I'm going to show you how this works. As you can see, there's an extension on the lab here. We walk into it, we can see what's going on. Now, this may look a little bit confusing, but it's actually quite simple. The first thing you need to go to do is create a scoreboard. Slash, scoreboard, objectives, add. Anything you want. Mine is called village.talk. It doesn't have to have a dot, it can be any, just as long as you can identify it. So I'm just going to call it village dot talk. Then it must be dummy. So it can't be added up any other way except commands. You can add a display name if you want. I'm not going to. I already have mine set up in the world. After that, you're going to want to put up a slow clock like this one. I can, I can show you how to build one. Just destroy it quickly. Place down a comparator. Set it where this torch is on. Subtract mode. Place down a lever. Place a repeater. Set to four ticks right after this. Place down one facing opposite direction next to that. And then place redstone connecting it all. Turn it on and it will start working. Next, you have to type scoreboard players add at a village.talk or whatever you named your scoreboard one. This will add up each time this call each time this clock ticks, it this one your score will be added once. Up one. The next command block must be an always active chain command block. That's slash scoreboard players set at a scores equal your scoreboard equals seven or however many you like. This will reset once it reaches a certain amount. You can have the villagers say as many things as you like. Then the scoreboard zero. These commands will all be in the description. I'll set that above and now you're done with the first part. Now to code what the villagers will actually say. In these command blocks, this is what this is the command you're going to have to use to make this work. Execute at at a scores your scoreboard name equals one at at e distance equals eight type equals villager limit equals one. A villager within eight blocks of you, one villager it will pick out and then it will run tell roll and it will do this text. You can change this text to whatever you like and then over here you can change the color to whatever you would like. Now this is how you can do it with however many texts you want with that number over there because this is at one. When you have it at one, it will whenever the scoreboard is a one, it will play it. When it gets reset, it goes back to one, it will do it again. This is set to two, and however many you have over there, you can have over here to do multiple texts. This here is just a bunch of different commands with, there you go, with different scores here. So this is zero. When he's at, whenever your score is at zero, the, the villager will say that. Every time your score is different, the villager will say something different. This is basically all the tutorial. One last thing you must do. 
take some repeaters, put it in a long line around, and place the command blocks at the corners. So it won't they w do not put it in a repeating command block or they will start spamming your chat. Do it like this so it'll be it'll be spaced so it looks like they're actually talking. Like this. When it gets around, he j he says something. Next. Looks like here there you go. He keeps he just says a bunch of different things. Keep in mind this is this is for the 1.13 snapshots for Minecraft Java Edition. You will not be able to do this on Pocket Edition or s console. Thank you. I hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, and comment on what you'd like to see next. Have a great day. Goodbye.